Hey there, what's up guys? So, Bad Music Production, most of you know me as Bad Beats, what's up? Guys, today here in FL Studio, we're gonna be looking at making a quick tutorial. Basically, I'm gonna show you guys how to group uh, different tracks, and this comes in, you know, like you have, let's say you have a lot of hi hats in FL Studio, right? And you've got your drums, and and let's say you go kind of berserk, and you use a lot of different hi hats for like a beat, for different kind of sections in the beat. Obviously. Once you add all the kicks and stuff, it can get very busy in here. So I'm going to show you how we can actually um, create groups. So to create groups, you have to hold shift on your keyboard. So while holding shift and left, uh, right clicking, sorry, left clicking, we select these boxes just like that. So I'm going to zoom in a bit. So we just select these boxes and we've got all the hi-hats selected. Now to deselect them, we just click inside just like that. Um, then what we do is we click on this arrow going down and we click on group selected and, and we're going to just type in hi hats so this is hi hats and click enter and we get these in the hi hat section now so if we select all here at the drop down we've got hi hat so when when the when the you know the playlist gets busy and we have loads of things we can just click down and go straight to hi-hats and we can only see the hi-hats and this is pretty cool what we can do select all the hi-hats okay and we can also give them color so we can at the side here we click on give color selected and just we can do gradient it's pretty cool and you know we can just select the first color so let's say we select like a like a purple and the last color to be like um, Let's say the first one will be light purple and last will be like like maybe dark purple like like this. Okay? And we click accept. What will happen is all these hi hats will have color code. Okay? So that's pretty cool. Cause we've just added color to that. Now, okay, let's say we have loads of kicks. So we add loads of kicks in and we're using loads of different kicks for different sounds, you know. Um and this just don't have to be the kick. I mean, you you can say to yourself, I'll have the kick and a snare, so I can see what's selected. So you can even put all this, you know, like different kind of snares. So you can have kicks and the snares. It's up to you. It's totally up to you. Select them all again. Now you can select them in just by holding it and dragging as well, just like this. So you can hold shift, right click and drag down. And they're all selected green, as you can see, which means they're selected. Now again, at the top, drop down, group selected, and we're going to type in a name. So, kicks and snares. Now, notice how we put kicks and snares and click on the arrow. Okay, they've now become kicks and snares. Uh, we can also give this color. So, again, go on the side, click on color selected gradient and we can select the first color being pink and the last color let's say I don't know like a uh, funky pink like that maybe like really cool pink like that. I don't know just like that and click OK and so now we know that all the kicks and the snares are this color we know that the snares are like that color you know so now when we click on all just by you know when you have loads of them and you have loads of sounds just by looking at the sounds you, you know that the hi-hats are purple, kicks is, you know, you would probably put the snares in a different section, so you could regroup them if you wanted to, so just go group selected and snares. Now notice that we can select kicks and snares, okay, the snares have now gone, we noticed, because we moved them to a different section. See, now we can select all the kicks, and because they're called uh, kicks and snares, we'll have to regroup them and just call them kicks. So now we've got snares, which are like a lighter color because we've done a gradient, kicks, and hi-hats. How cool is that? So we can select the snares and we can give them different color. Again, color selected. We can select random 
We'll just give them random colour. So now when we look at our playlist here on the side, guys, how cool is that? I mean, we went straight from, you know, having a really messy playlist to having a really nicely organised playlist here. But we know that the hi-hats are purple, the kicks are pink, snares are blue, and everything's really, really nicely laid out for us. And this is this is really really good, you know, when when we have when we're working with a big playlist in FL Studio, we can easily then uh, place all our sounds into the playlist and keep a structure on how we lay out our things. And it makes it so much easier when you're looking for a sound. Believe me, when you have really loads of sounds, you you kind of get lost, especially when you start using perks and melodies and stuff. I mean, you can have up to 50 different sounds in your playlist. And just by doing this, you know, you know, you don't have to kind of go and try to find them. You say, I want to change the kick around. You select the kicks, boom, you get the kicks come up. You want the hi-hats, boom, the hi-hats come up. And you can do that really, really well doing the grouping. So, you know, this is really, really good when you want to change different sounds and keep a structure. So I just thought I'd show you guys on grouping and colouring in FL Studio to stay organised. Apart from that, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe, hit the like, and I'll see you guys very soon for more in-depth tutorials. We've got loads of great free giveaways, drum kits, so yeah, stay tuned, and um, yeah, drop your comment below and let us know how you've been during this pandemic time. I mean, with all this, everything going on at the moment, you know, the world is kind of crazy, we've had the pandemic, then the Black Lives Matter, and a lot of things are going on at the moment, but I hope everyone's staying productive, stay creative, stay safe. Peace out. See you soon.